Hey everyone, and welcome to this special edition of a ship tour and cruise luncheon on board Ovation of the Seas. Today I'm excited to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes experience as to what it's like to go on a ship tour and cruise luncheon with other travel industry professionals, cruise content creators, and I was thrilled to get the invitation from Royal Caribbean to board their beautiful ship Ovation of the Seas. So let's go ahead and check it out. It's gonna be a fun day. to hit that like button everyone and if you're not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications and a nice shot right there of the two ships and the plane and the space in the background downtown seattle it's turning out to be a beautiful day today for sail away it's gonna be about 70 degrees not too hot not too cold just right i love this place i've done many many ship tours and this is my first official true video of where i'll be giving you a full in-depth experience of what a cruise luncheon is all about so Let's get there to she it. is, Ovation of the Seas, up close. Docked here at Pier 91. This is so beautiful, guys. Again, embarkation is very busy. There's folks getting off the ship. There's like 4,000 people getting off, 4,000 people getting on. So it can get pretty hectic, but this is pretty awesome. So, so excited to share with you guys. Oh my God, I love this ship. All right, so just giving you another perspective of embarkation day craziness, right? There's Ovation of the Seas right there. You see right there, Ovation. And here's our group that we're going to be going on board with uh, Royal Caribbean. So that gentleman in the mint green shirt right there that is nate good he is the strategic account manager for royal caribbean here in the northwest awesome guy i helped coordinate this with uh, another gentleman i know doug uh, who's also part of our west sales team as well so yeah this is awesome uh so happy to be connected with doug and nate and everyone at royal caribbean and honored to be able to be a part of this experience today on board the beautiful ovation of the sea all right guys i'm here with nate good the strategic account manager for royal caribbean so nate why don't you tell us a little about yourself and how long you've been royal caribbean yeah absolutely hey guys uh thanks for having me on my name is nate good i I am a strategic account manager with Royal out here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I've been with Royal for it'll be 11 years now, actually today. So wow, coincidence, right? Hey, so, yeah. It's a special day for a special person. Fantastic, right? Yeah. So yeah, no, we're here uh, touring the beautiful Ovation of the Seas. So it's a beautiful ship. Looking forward to showing all of our incredible travel partners and JT around today. Yeah, yeah. Nate's awesome, guys. He's been amazing coordinating this, and uh, we're super excited for an amazing couple hours on board this beautiful Quantum class ship, and. Uh, it's gonna be a fun day. Absolutely. Let's do it. Awesome. All right, guys, we're getting ready to board on board Ovation of the Seas. And look at that, the North Star is up and running. How cool is that? We're getting ready to check in again. We're going on board the, the employee or crew ramp <laughs> right there. That's gonna be awesome. Special access. All right, guys, we're officially on board Ovation of the Seas. Just went to security and then we're good to go. Now we're gonna start touring this beautiful ship. Ovation of the Seas. Here we go. Oh, and of course, washi washi. Good for you, good for me, good for us. Washi washi every day keeps you healthy. One of the best things about Royal Caribbean cruise ships is they have the day of the week on the elevator. I love it. So today is Friday, June 16th, 2023. And here we are, we're gonna walk around and, and here we go. Here's our group. There's Nate right there, our strategic account manager and our crew right there. Here we go. It's gonna be lots of fun. And then I'll show you what the highlights are on each ship as you make your way forward. Our first stop is our Vitality Spa Fitness Center. We have one of these right. on board. As Nate was mentioning, um, you know, every yeah. uh, deck has this layout of the ship, so you can uh, see exactly where you are and what's on board as well, right? So this is deck 16. We're going to go to the Vitality Fitness, uh, Fitness Center and Spa and Salon. You can see here, this is a beautiful ship, all sorts of amazing onboard experience. Here's Vitality Fitness Center and Spa. Let's check it out. Make sure I stay with the group. I don't want to fall too behind. See here, here's a fitness center. Alright, check it out. Never seen a gym so empty. Of course. We thought we were in the gym today. Uh -huh. we that we yes. Did yeah, you go to the gym today? I did, of course. I walked right through it. <laughs> so this is a really good sized gym. You got all the machine. You got weights. You got machines. You got the dumbbells, uh, and you got you know the most beautiful views that you can have while at the gym, right? Looking out into the ocean at the sea. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. So imagine this. Imagine you're on a cruise and you're, you're getting ready to work out and you have this view. How beautiful is this? Can you imagine? Like, this is amazing. I love these, like, floor-to-ceiling windows. <laughs> and there, of course, is our sister company, Celebrity. We got the ce beautiful Celebrity Solstice right there. Gorgeous ship, modern luxury at its finest. Yeah, this is awesome, guys. There's the gym. You gotta love it. One of the things I love about Ovation of the Seas is the every story, every deck has like beautiful artwork on the wall. And here's just one, right? This is amazing. Like everywhere you go, there's beautiful artwork. 
um, it's really amazing. So, uh, yeah. Here's, here's the indoor guys, uh, beautiful little pool bar. The hot tub is very, very hot in here. So I'm gonna head outside and meet up with the group because it's getting super hot. Like, oh, it's sweaty. It feels so nice though. Hey guys, I'm right there. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, sit up right there. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, guys, and uh, keep following along, guys. There's a lot of fun adventures uh, cruising coming, cruising with JT. Let's go, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna walk around this track, and you can see this is all the way to the front of the ship, and right below there is the solarium. So we're gonna catch up with the group here. We wrap around, you can see the mileage markers here. This is nice. Let's see, where's my group at? So what we're doing today on this uh, ship tour lunch experience is we're starting from all the way to the top and we're going to work ourselves at the bottom. We're working our way to the bottom. Of course, there is the beautiful Celebrity Solstice. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this is Royal Caribbean's sister company, Celebrity. It's a beautiful ship. And I'm going to take a picture of this once we get out a little bit here. So this is awesome. Hey guys, what an awesome tour so far. Having a blast. Put the sun on my face, but hey, it's all good. Look at that, you got the planes right there. Celebrity Solstice right there. Like this is like, I love, <laughs> I love it so much. Like to dream to be able to do this full time and you know coming on these ship tours, go on cruises, and bring you guys content that's gonna help you out in your next cruise planning. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'd love to help out. And as I mentioned, there's the full perspective of the Celebrity Solstice docked right next to us here at Pier 91 in Seattle. We're gonna do a quick pan around here. You can see the beautiful pool deck area of the ovation of the seas. There's Seattle in the background right there, and of course we have the lovely North Star. You get inside this like capsule thing, and it goes up about 300 feet above sea level, all the way up there. Uh, there's a couple of experiences that you can have with this. You can go up and down for free. You can go do an extended experience, which I believe is $20 a person. And of course, in Alaska, they have the Glacier experience, which is about $50 to $70 a person as well. So definitely make sure you uh, uh, you know reserve this as soon as you board your cruise ship. It is absolutely worth it. Here we are on the pool deck. It's so nice to see the ship so empty before all the passengers come on, right? Look at that. You got your kids' play area right there. And then you have beautiful Seattle in the background. If they do a pan around here, you'll see how beautiful this is. Here's your North Star. Absolutely amazing, guys. Again, so happy that I got this opportunity to come back on board this beautiful ship. Ovation of the Seas, again, my most cruise ship in my life. I've been on it three times, but I absolutely love it, and I always welcome the opportunity to come back here at any time. I'm gonna zoom out just a second here, and do 0.5, so here we go, one, two, go. There we go, look at that. Then they're pan around. This is amazing, guys. I love it. Hope you guys are having a great time. Again, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Again, this is exciting. There's a lot more content coming your way. I love it. And here I am, guys. Uh, I'm on board again, away to the seas. Uh, just having a hang hanging out here on the pool deck. We're just kind of taking in the sights and sounds of this beautiful ship. And uh, I mean, there's my hometown right there, right? Of Seattle. You gotta love it. Um, a lot of folks are starting to board slowly. I think a lot of the suite members and pinnacle members. Uh, I'm gonna do a pan around here so you guys can see. There's a North Star. And there's my group right there. Uh, it's definitely warming up. I'm so glad I wore a short sleeve shirt today because it's very warm. And, uh, yeah, this is awesome, guys. Um, I, I can't. You, you probably can see it, but I'm. I'm. I'm so. I'm always like the happiest guy in the world when I get on a cruise ship. Like I don't know if there's anyone else who gets more excited like I do on a, getting on a cruise or uh, even for like four hours. Right? I get so excited. I wish. I wish I could be on this ship today to go to Alaska for seven nights. But hey, another time, right? So um, yeah, this is awesome. I love it. Maybe another perspective of the pool deck here on board Ovation of the Seas. Got the nice big TV screen right there. You guys can hear the water in the background. Of course, this is the Kids Splashaway Bay Area. One thing I want to point out is Ovation of the Seas has all this for the kiddos, right? The water slides, Splashaway, the buckets. Quantum of the Seas does not, right? So if you're thinking about which ship to take to Alaska and you have kids, younger kids especially, you may want to consider Ovation over Quantum just because they'll love this now of course going to alaska is gonna be a little bit cooler but i think you'll still enjoy this at least on embarkation day hopefully it's beautiful and warm here in seattle all right guys you got this little bus that's sticking out here at the seaplex we're gonna go inside there and there i am again hey guys <laughs> and then here we are 
getting to the back of the ship, the aft, right? And of course, here's where you're gonna see the super cool experiences, namely the iFly skydiving ripcord by iFly, and of course the Flow Rider surf, surf simulator. Uh, that's gonna be amazing, right? And you guys, look at that background, like look down. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can't beat this. Like this is epic. There's Nate right there in the teal shirt, just hanging out again, just leading us to this group tour. I love it. We're gonna do a nice little walk around here, and we're gonna head to the wind jammer for lunch. And now we're gonna go to this beautiful spot right here, guys. Check it out. You know, this never gets old, guys. Like, you know, I've been here for over 30 years, but I'm still in love every single time I see this view. Every single time I see Seattle, I fall in love all over again just because I love the city. You know, I mean, this is home. And uh, if you guys come to Seattle, definitely reach out to me and let me know any questions because I'd love to give you tips and uh, things to do in this beautiful town. And there is the Record by Fly skydiving simulator right there, Elevation of the Seas. Again, one of the few ships that have this on all Quantum class ships. You have Elevation of the Seas, Quantum of the Seas, Anthem of the Seas, Spectrum of the Seas, Odyssey of the Seas. They all have these uh, surf simulators and I fly indoor skydiving experiences. Very, very cool. Here we are, guys. We we jumped over the yellow chains to come to this beautiful view right here. Ovation of the Seas Flow Rider and the Ripcord by Fly Skydiving Simulator. So I want to mention that the Flow Rider is free and complimentary. You just got to look at the the cruise planner and the daily schedules to see when the times are available. Uh, I Fly Skydiving, you do want to reserve as soon as you board the ship just because the reservation slots go by really quickly. Uh, they have complimentary rides for one minute and also have two minute pay rides as well. Which I think about $60. So again, it varies from sailing to sailing. but. All right, guys, here we are at the Flow Rider and Ice Guiding Simulator on board Ovation of the Seas. Oh my god, it's so sunny. So glad I wore short sleeves because it's like getting really hot. Um, but yeah, just kind of hanging out, taking a tour of this beautiful ship, and again, having a blast. Can never go wrong uh, enjoying these amazing, amazing ships. I and as it. we continue on this deck, you'll see that there's a rock climbing wall. Again, this is complimentary for your charge. Just come on here and get your climbing on. And of course, here we have our friends, Pandemonium. We have a mama and a baby panda bear. So cute. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nate, correct, correct me if I'm wrong. This is called Pandemonium, is that right? Correct. Pandemonium, right? Well, the, the room itself? No, no these, oh, yeah, yeah. these two folks right here. Yeah, yeah, the, the mama and baby panda. So cute. Gotta love it. And then on on Quantum, it's Felicia. It is. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. The giraffe. Bye, Felicia. Yes. <laughs> so awesome. This C-Flex is two stories. Uh, it's pretty much open all the time for complimentary activities. So a lot of self play. So a lot of the sports sports are open. Mm -hmm. Basketball, soccer, uh, volleyball, badminton, all of the above will be played through pickleball. Yay! In order, all the lines are on the court. Yeah. So yeah, as Nate was mentioning, that this is the Cplex. Uh, you got bumper cars here. There's other activities as well. Basketball. They also have roller skating. Uh, but the most popular item here or activity is bumper cars right so bumper car lines can get pretty long but it's totally worth it you're gonna have a blast um definitely check out the cplex and of course up there you have video arcade xbox you got some foosball tables some ping pong tables and there's some other activities up here as well which i'll show you in just a second here are the said bumper cars as you can see here's a cplex there are bumper cars everywhere you got the arcade over there and of course on that side is the cplex doghouse which we'll see in just a second assuming we go that route so i'm gonna Try to stay with the group as close as possible. And here's the arcade on board Ovation. It's a, not the biggest arcade, but it's a decent size. I mean, it has a few games that it offers, but you know, it's gonna be a good thing so your kids aren't spending too much money. <laughs> and here's the second story of the Cplex. As you can see, you got the air hockey table, you got foosball, some other experiences here. And of course, this is where you're at. That's the, where the bumper cars and basketball and roller skating and all that cool stuff happens. So, yeah, pretty cool. Here's ping pong. Get your ping pong on right here with beautiful views. You got looking out here. Again, non stop views on board the beautiful Ovation of the Seas, guys. Yeah, so this is the, the bus that we saw earlier, like Nate mentioned. That's the bus right there. You can see the wheels. That's the Sea Dog, Seaplex Doghouse. If you love your hot dogs, get your craving on over here. It smells so good. Mm. I wish I wasn't vegetarian. <laughs> they do not have veggie dogs, unfortunately, but hey, hot dogs here they make are amazing. And here's Xbox, the gaming area for all your 
kids to come and hang out. Get all the cool stuff here. And you got gentlemen already playing, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so this is the. This... We'll put one of our staff will be in there hosting. This is the Nate. This is the teen club. Yeah, teen club. Nice. Club Twelve to seventeen. Twelve to seventeen year old guys right here. Okay. Very nice. You got the lights up there. You got the little, you know, non-alcoholic <laughs> drinks. <laughs> All right, guys, we are entering the Windjammer Marketplace. As you can see, a lot of folks have already boarded and are enjoying their lunch. And here they are, are, here's our group, I believe. And that's really quick. All right, guys, here we are. We're gonna have a nice quick lunch at the Windjammer Cafe. And typically during these ship tours and luncheons, uh, we do go to the main dining room, but those typically take like an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours sometimes. And I think that really the, the goal of this one is to really make sure that we're not you know, spending too much time uh, eating, right? So uh, this is why we decided to do the buffet, which I think is a great idea. And uh, we can be, you know, eat 30 minutes or so and then go back and tour the ship. So yeah, we're gonna have some delicious lunch and uh, let's go check out the office. You got the fresh from the garden here. Yeah, it's very busy. You got the fruits, fruit station. I'm gonna go to my international station because I'm vegetarian and I, I hope they have Indian food. That'd be awesome. We got salads here. Let's see what they have. Indian, there we go, perfect. They got steamed rice, dal, okay. We got some raita. Um, I'm gonna go on this side. Let's see if they have other stuff. What's over here? We got favorites. This is, looks like pasta. International flavors. Uh, <laughs> just looking at a lot of good options. And then here's some more international flavors right here. All right, perfect. Vegetarian, here we go. This is my spot right here. Vegetable curry, dal, and steamed rice. There we go. I know what I'm eating right here. Boom, yeah. some Asian options as well. A quick pan around. And of course, I gotta take you guys to the dessert station so you guys know exactly what there is available. Uh, I mentioned this in my, my, my tip videos as well, but the Windjammer is very, very busy on embarkation day, as you can tell. So one thing I recommend in my video is to go to the 270 Cafe on deck six. Uh, so go there and it's not as busy, right? So um, yeah, 270 Cafe, not as busy as the Windjammer on embarkation day. If you guys wanna have delicious options and also just not as, not as crowded, right? So um, look, here's your desserts. We got cookies, you got creme brulee, gluten free, you got some other of these delicious sweets and eats. And over here, we have apple pound cake, coconut cream puff, carrot cake, chocolate bar, apricot almond pistachio pie, and pineapple upside down cake, no sugar. Also one thing to keep in mind, there's plenty of seats in the back. So don't re-enter, a lot of people decide to sit over there, but there's a lot of seats available in the back. It's not as crowded, so definitely come to the back of the lunch chair. And also there's an outdoor seating way back there. So. All right, my lunch today is vegetable curry, dal, gluten-free, steamed rice, some cauliflower, and some uh, potatoes as well. So I'll be getting my food on right here. Alright guys, we just finished a delicious lunch at the Windjammer Marketplace Buffet and now we're gonna head down to deck 8 to check out some rooms. Check that out. Ooh, look at my feet. You want to scare the heights? Dun, dun, dun. Jump, 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 jump. It's all good. Here we go. Alright. Alright. Stay digitally connected to the ship itself. Get in there and play with it. I encourage you to get in here and play with it. You can look at the Cruise Compass, so it'll show you all the different activities, the lineup day by day, so it's updated every daily as well, so you can see where it is, what deck it's on as well. If at any point in time you don't know where you're at on the ship and you want to find your stateroom, there is a stateroom locator. So if we're, right now, one of the staterooms we're going to go see. Oh. And it's going to tell you exactly where you're at and it's going to point you in the direction and tell you how to go and find your state room. Yeah, cool. It's really convenient. Very Let's check this out. We're looking down at the Royal Promenade. It has a beautiful decor. Oh, this brings back so many memories of when we were on Ovation of the Seas. I love it. And we actually stayed on this deck. This is deck eight, and I, I clearly remember this drawing, this painting. It's beautiful. I love it. Awesome. Oh, we are touring Ocean View Balcony, room 8210. You walk in here, you'll see. Here's the thermostat, and then here's the nice. This is like the perfect layout with the bed next to the window. You got a nice size balcony right here, guys. This is like an Ocean View balcony. Some room layouts don't have the bed next to the window, but this one does, which is really cool. A nice size TV right there. Here's your 
counseling at the bathroom right there. But yeah, we're gonna really, really quick. Into uh, into uh, guys. Guys. Jack 8230, interior <laughs> virtual studio balcony, and 8232. Okay, so and then let's go in here, and here's your interior okay, virtual balcony. No, I'm just nice special room. Studio, okay, this is good. Nice, nice room for one person. There's the virtual balcony right there, and here's your junior suite. Very nice. Oh, this is good. And of course, you have a nice size bed. You got a nice bathroom here, bathtub. Wow, okay. TV there, nice size couch, and of course, the balcony. No, oh, wow, very nice size balcony. That's huge. Let's go look at the, at the corner balcony here, which is pretty cool. Beautiful for your Alaska glacier viewing. Very nice. Love it. And this is 8234. This is a grand suite. Here we go. This is a very, very nice bathroom, okay? Very nice. We'll go in there in just a second. This is very nice. Let's go here. Oh, look at this, guys. Nice, nice bathroom. I'm going to do a little video of this grand suite. Very nice sitting area here. And more spacious here. We got, so you got two TVs, one on each side. There's some storage there, and that's the connecting door to the bathroom. And then here's your nice size bed. And then you got, got a massive balcony here. You got one over here, and it connects over there. Very nice. So this is a grand suite. Let me zoom out a little bit. There you go, check it out. How cool is that? This is an accessible junior suite. Deck 8, room number 8242. And as we head in here, you'll see this is accessible. So again, if you have a wheelchair or... Oh, you're good. Um, you see the bathroom here. Oh, wow, this is nice. Great. I might have zoom out a little bit here. There you go, wow. You got the shower right there. You got the shower there. Hey guys. <laughs> you got a nice tub here. And over here is the room. Check this out. Oh wow. Very spacious. I love it. Are you good? <laughs> Very nice. And then here, again, I'm zoomed out so you guys can get a better perspective of that whole room. Nice size balcony. Got an accessible junior suite. Here's love the it. balcony. In a very good size. I'm just gonna look out here again. All right, and there's your accessible junior suite. Very nice. Here's Splashaway Bay. Awesome kids play area. I remember my uh, our first time on board Ovation. We played here. Well, my daughter did at least, and she had a blast. Flashing around, having lots of fun, taking the sights and sounds. It's, it's actually it's lots of fun, guys. Love it. All right, let's take a walk. We're gonna share it with the group. And yeah, the pool deck. There's Nate. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> People in the pool, hanging out, having a good time. I love it. See, this is what Embarkation Day is all about, guys. Get on board, grab some food, grab a drink, enjoy yourself, enjoy the views from beautiful Seattle. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Nothing like cruise day, guys. There's nothing like cruise day. The first day is the best. Love it. All right, guys, here we are, just hanging out on the pool deck again. Beautiful, check out the North Star coming down. There it is. Uh, it's a uh, very relaxing temperature today. It's not super hot. It's about 70 degrees, cloudy. We're not getting beaten up by the sun, which is really nice. Um, and of course, you got the Splashway Bay back there. We're having a great time. It's been an awesome, awesome tour so far. I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. Again, be sure to hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Appreciate your support. All right, guys. So Nate is awesome. He actually told us to come on deck 14 and come to have some soft serve ice cream. Oh, yeah. It is soft serve ice cream time. Ooh, gotta get my swirl. All right, guys, I got my swirl ice cream, soft serve ice cream. This is so good. Chocolate, vanilla, can't go wrong with it. Any time of day, you gotta come and get it. But this is the spot. Like, it's a beautiful day, guys. It's not super hot, but it's really nice to kind of enjoy this and uh, kind of take in the sights and sounds of embarkation day, right? It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I love it. So we're leaving the pool deck area. This is the indoor pool, and we're actually heading to a solarium, which is one of the best solariums on any World Caribbean cruise ship. Quantum class ships have really, really nice solarium, guys. 
Got a bar right there. <laughs> First walking, I'm gonna need my ice cream. <laughs> I love it. Hey. All right, we are entering the solarium now. Again, this is adults only retreat area. 16 and above only. So you won't find any kids here. This is a very nice place to come and hang out. Get away from the noise. It's very peaceful and quiet here. The solarium. <clears throat> and this is one of the best places to be, especially when you're going to Alaska. You got, you got floor ceiling windows, you got the sky windows up here. Like, and this is actually, oh, real quick, guys, memory. This is the window that me and my friend saw the Northern Lights right there, that window in the middle. I gotta take a picture. As you see, as we walk around, got plenty of seating here. Again, it's all complimentary. Got a bar right here, the sky bar, the Slurian bar, sunshine bar. So, yep. and here is your beautiful view of this pool. Got pools right there, you got plenty of hot tubs. There's some hot tubs over here, I'll show you guys. The hot tub. Hey guys, so here I am in the solarium on board Ovation this season. Uh, again, adults only retreat, no kids allowed, only 16 and over. So you have an amazing perspective, and you can see here. If I go down here, you can see the front of the ship. Check it out. This is a great place to come when you're uh, going to Alaska. You can see the glaciers from here, it's not cold at all. It's very, actually, very, very warm in here right now. Uh, but that's beautiful. And uh, yeah, this is a must bus experience. I think, like I mentioned, is. Uh, the Solarium on board Quantum Clash ships are really, really nice, and I think you're going to really, really like your experience here uh, on your next cruise to Alaska or anywhere uh, where the seas goes. Again, okay, you got hot tubs right here, two hot tubs right here, two hot tubs right there, and again, pool area here. It's like the infinity pool, which is really nice. You gotta check this out, guys. This is really, really nice. You're gonna love it. You got lifeguard on duty. Sunshine bar right now we're heading into the kids area, the Adventure Ocean program at Royal Caribbean. I think Royal Caribbean Caribbean does the, one of the best kids programs at sea. Uh, my daughter loves coming here. She's been here many times. And uh, they have all sorts of activities and games, and you know, kids get to meet and play with one another. It's really nice. So let's check out. This is Adventure like Science Lab. Like and there's a look in here. Where you can see. Oh wow, look at the volcanoes and everything. This is awesome, guys. Very cool. And this is the open play area. Again, this is the first, I still remember our first time on Ovation the Seas. The first morning we came here and we went straight down. It was a blast. <laughs> yeah, kids love this area. Yeah, so that's the 9 to 11 age group room. Kids area. Yep, there's a little slide there. There should be a slide. Yep, there it is. Yeah, it's awesome. This is for the three to five year olds. And this is where my daughter will go. And here you have the royal tots, royal babies and tots. Uh, this is for six months old to three years old. So it's very cool. Okay, guys, here we are in the Royal Theater. Again, this is the space to come and see some amazing entertainment shows, musicals. They do a phenomenal job every single performer it's absolutely amazing and you can see here there's two stories right there's two levels and most theaters don't have this right on other cruise lines but here on royal caribbean they do this the right way which i love here we go isn't that amazing it's beautiful i'm gonna do a quick pan around so you guys can see the full perspective of the beautiful royal theater amazing definitely don't miss the shows in this venue guys it is absolutely amazing whether you're on ovation of the seas or quantum of the seas or any royal caribbean ship you guys check out their shows they're absolutely phenomenal <laughs> entering the royal esplanade and the schooner bar is our first venue yeah oh. And the, and the live piano music. It's amazing. The atmosphere is amazing. 
Yeah, Chops Grill right there, you guys. The specialty restaurant. If you love your steak, go to Chops Grill. And here's the beautiful schooner bar. Again, a great venue to come have live music. There's trivia. There's all sorts of games and stuff that they play here as well. So it's really, really nice. This is an article theme bar, which is the schooner bar. And this is the Focus Photo Gallery. You want to you know, capture your memories and your experiences with your friends and family here. This is where you're going to come and uh, purchase your photos. It's really nice. Right, now we're entering the main area of the Royal Esplanade. And you'll see here on this red is the Izumi restaurant. And down here you got some shops. Again, I'm sure if I go down there as well. Nice high-end shops. Really, really cool. And we'll see where our group's gonna go and then we'll go from there. You guys see this gentleman right there is make, making sushi. Very nice. Alright, now we're getting to the main area of the Royal Esplanade. Check it out. This is like the main area. Like the ship, yep. Check it out, guys. Here we are, one of my favorite bars on board, the Bionic Bar. Looks like the robots are recharging right now. Again, this is one of the most popular places on board the ship. The, the drinks are a little pricey. I think they average about $15 a piece, and your diamond drinks do not count towards these. So, just something to keep in mind if you're a diamond status. See all the action happening on Embarkation Day on board the beautiful Ovation of the Seas. You have Wonderland right there, Cafe Promenade. Lots of stuff happening here, guys. I love this ship. So, excursion desks. If you haven't booked your shore excursions to Alaska before the cruise, you can come here and see what offerings are available. Uh, definitely take advantage of it as soon as possible because Alaska excursions do sell out really, really quick. All the action, the heartbeat of the ship. You gotta love it, guys. You got people eating pizza, they're at the pub grabbing a drink, they're just hanging out, they're getting their dining reservations taken care of. Like, this is the ultimate feeling to get on board. The first day is very, very special. Wonderland imaginative cuisine. Again, this is a very, very special cuisine or dinner experience. Uh, very unique and creative. Like, for example, you paint the menu to see what's on the menu, right? They give you like a water brush and you. Uh, <laughs> going in. This is really nice. Look how beautiful this is. Look at these unique chairs. This is like one of the most fun dining experiences. It's not super vegetarian friendly, but um, it's something that, you know, if you're not a vegetarian, you can definitely come and check out. It's really unique. Victoria, Victoria. Victoria. She's amazing. Yeah, so good. Yeah, and when they moved her from Spooners, uh -huh. and she played Yeah, I'm unbelievable. Here's a little chimes on the wall. When you're sailing, you actually ding 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 oh, they, really? they make little noises, yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. It's so beautiful though. I mean, look at this place. I love, this is called the, that's quantum. Oh, no, 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 that is, uh, this, that's, yeah, that's actually, it's, it's on the roll. Quantum is just, yeah, the car. It floats with you. Yeah, the, the butterflies are in front of the Royal Theater on deck, one more deck down. We may go there, we'll see, right? Yeah. I was telling, I was joking around with, uh, like, about, you know, you know, maybe sneaking a slice of Sorrento's pizza. <laughs> There's James Italian. I'll see you guys soon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah? Nice. Save some pictures of this. This is cool decor here in the Via. And of course, you have folks here having lunch at Jamie's Italian. It's a specialty restaurant. I highly recommend coming here for lunch instead of dinner because you'll save 50%. Right, lunch is about $25, dinner is $50. So just something to keep in mind. There's vintages, this is the wine bar. Again, this this place is usually more more peaceful, more calm down. This, this usually never gets too busy here. Um, as you can see here, there's just one group of family right there. Um, a very nice place to come chill, get a great selection of wine. Of course, you can get your normal alcohol and cocktails and you know other stuff here as well. So um, definitely a cool place to check out. You got some other shops here. You got Livion. And again, this is the Via. From the Royal Promenade, you have the Via, and then we're gonna head over to the 270 venue, which is, I think, the best part of Quantum of the Seas. One of the best. Here's the 270 Cafe, guys. Again, this is where I recommend folks come to for Embarkation Day, because you get, uh, it's not super busy. You get a great selection of food here. Um, you got some sandwiches. Yeah, you got the whole menu right here, guys. It's really good. Got your cookies. Uh, you got some sandwiches, you got cookies, you got fruit, you got soup selection, and then you have your salads here as well. Uh, they make your salad, again, it's all complimentary, and again, it's not busy like the Windjammer, right? 
Um, everyone always thinks about going to the buffet, but come right here. It's a really great place to come. This is where we come for embarkation day lunch. Of course, you want your pastries and espresso. You can check it out here. And wait till you get in here. Again, this is the 270 Cafe, and this is the 270 venue on board Ovation of the Seas. One of the most amazing venues you'll find on board any cruise ship. Very state-of-the-art technology, high energy engaging performances. This is where you want to come and check it out. And make your reservations on your Royal Caribbean app as well on your day of boarding to secure your time slot. Uh, this is an amazing place, and uh, I highly, highly recommend you come and check out here. And again, like as I mentioned, check out the 270 Cafe on Embarkation Day. It's not as crazy as the Windjammer Buffet. And uh, you can come back here and see some beautiful views of your departure city. In this case, Seattle, right back there. I love it. This is one of the best venues. I love this place. This is my favorite spot on board. As you can see here, you can see the wake. And there's the city right there. Yeah, this is amazing. This venue is like the best. <laughs> Put the lights oh, here. Lights. Yeah. If I see water. <laughs> there it is, guys. One of the coolest venues on board. So, guys, so here we are in my favorite venue on board Ovation of the Seas, the 270, located aft. And again, this is a phenomenal venue, state-of-the-art technology, high-performance shows. We got the robots there, uh, the, the TV robots, and then um, of course back there you have the 270 Cafe. But this place is amazing, right? This is a place where I like to come here almost every day on board this ship, or Quantum of the Seas, or any Quantum class ship. You just hang out; it's beautiful, very relaxing, and uh, you get amazing views, right? So as I showed you guys, the views are amazing, and uh, you might you may not be able to see everything. Let's check it out. You guys see that? Look at that. There you go. It's beautiful. Yeah. This is 270. There's the next cruise desk. Again, this is where you can come and uh, put a deposit down for your future cruise and get an onboard credit and hey, <laughs> um, for your experiences. <laughs> Our gallery. Hey guys, how you doing? Well, hello, good day. We're just gonna walk to the via. Yes, and Nate was very instrumental for me. Alright, guys, here we are on the main floor of the Royal Esplanade. I love this place, and you guys, my favorite place in the world, Sorrento's Pizza. Oh my gosh, this is the best place ever, guys. They make the best pizza in the world. It's so good. I kind of tempted to get one. I don't know if I can. Oh, she's getting it? I gotta get my cheese pizza. Gotta get one. Can't leave this place without getting this one. Look at that deliciousness right there. You gotta love Sorrentos. It's the best pizza ever. I got my pizza already half gone. And here's the, again, the lower uh, portion of the Royal Esplanade. All these nice jewelry. Here's the Amber and Oak Pub. And as you can see here, nice place to come and kind of hang out, get your drink on, get your live music here every day. It's really nice. And then this is the music hall, live entertainment, places hopping as always. It's a great place, guys. Alright guys, and here is music hall. Okay, this is another amazing venue to come and enjoy. With live music, they have game shows, they have dancing here. That's a lot, a lot of fun to come and hang out here. They got pool tables, they got a bar right there. Plenty of seating for all your experiences. So this is the Diamond Lounge on board Ovation of the Seas. And again, I have not been here because all the times I've been on Ovation and Quantum, I have not been Diamond. But this Diamond Lounge is huge uh, compared to the one on Navigator of the Seas that I went on. But this is very nice and it's different than it's different on Quantum as well. The Quantum uh, Diamond Club is located elsewhere in the more of the front of the ship. This one's actually in the back next to Music Hall. But very nice. This is if you're Diamond and above on uh, Royal Caribbean's loyalty status, you can come in and enjoy you know, you're, you get some free food and just a really nice place to kind of kick back and relax and get some privacy and some quiet time as well. I love this chandelier and the music. And now we're going to go in the Casino Royale. It's kind of nice that, you know, it's not open right now, so there's no smoke smell, which is good. Got a lot of machines. 
table games. Let's uh, head inside and check it out. There's more filters on that side, but when you're using the Yeah. <laughs> you got some roulette here, you got blackjack. You got, uh, I, think, I think there's a That we're taking a lot of our casinos and we're adding extension to it. It's your craps table. Yeah, yeah. We're turning that into a beautiful staircase here with this amazing light structure and the American flag in the back. I love it. It's one of the four dining rooms on board Ovation of the Seas. This is called Chic. Let's take a quick look in here. You can see that folks are getting ready for lunch or dinner service tonight. Okay. How beautiful this venue is, guys. Look at that. Hey, we ate dinner right there. That's amazing. Actually, let me show you what I went. Had dinner right there at that table with Jordan and Jared from JJ Cruz. That's where we ate. This was back in August of 2021. We had a great time. Such fun getting to know those guys. And here's another dining room. Again, this is number two of four. And again, all the menus were the same, just the different uh, ambiance and it, colors and experiences that you get to have on board. Uh, typically, you're assigned to one room and then you can hang out there or you can go to another uh, dining room menu as well if you'd like to request it. No one minds, it's all good. You see folks are getting ready for dinner tonight. Amazing. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the ship tour and cruise lunch and experience. Again, it was super awesome to spend about four hours on this beautiful ship today. Again, today is Friday, June 16th, 2023. It's an honor to get invited to take a tour of this beautiful ship, Ovation of the Seas. And uh, I see all the excitement from all the cruisers on board, and they're really excited for an amazing seven night cruise to Alaska. So, um, thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, guys, this is Cruising with JT. Take care. A special shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much for your additional support. If you'd like to become a Patreon or YouTube member, I'll include the links in the description below. It's basically a behind the scenes view of Cruising with JT and special access to various benefits and perks and inside information into my upcoming videos. So if you do decide to join, I truly appreciate your support. This video is sponsored by MEI Travel. Feel free to reach out to me at cruisingwithjt at gmail.com and I'll get you connected to my travel agent at MEI Travel. She'll take great care of you. And I'll also include the information in the description below. Thank you so much.